a scientist has created a time machine that allows reversing the flow of time into the past. And it looks like this. Hello, nice to meet you all again. Time travel is a concept often seen in science fiction films, but what if I told you that time travel is entirely real, and even you right now are time traveling? Indeed, if you and your friend are sitting watching this video, then stand up and start moving. Congratulations, you have just traveled into the future of your friend. The theory of relativity suggests that when you move, your time slows down compared to your friend sitting still. Of course, you won't feel any different because your movement is very slow. But if you walk around your friend at 99.99% .99 of the speed of light, then after five seconds, you are officially younger than your friend by almost six minutes. If you feel not satisfied, you can continue running for another year. When you stop, most people you've known would have died because your friend and everyone on Earth have aged an additional 70 years. This is called time dilation due to speed. And if you're too lazy to run, you can stand up and stay still. The theory of relativity broadly states that when you are closer to a strong gravitational field, time passes more slowly. At this point, your feet are closer to the planet's gravitational center than your head. So your feet will be younger than your head by a bit, specifically about 10 femtoseconds or 0.1 seconds. However, if you are near something extremely dense, like a black hole event with a mass of 10 solar masses located about 460 meek outside the horizon. Then for every year that passes for you, your friend staying at home would age more than eight years. Now, this phenomenon is called a gravitational time dilation. Time dilation due to velocity and gravity are two principles for traveling into the future. The faster you move and the closer you are to a strong gravitational field, the slower time passes. And the issue is not entirely in the realm of imagination. In fact, the clocks on 24 GPS satellites in the global positioning system are constantly affected by the time dilation effect. They move faster than we do on the Earth's surface at a speed of 11,265 kilometer h. As a result, they are slowed down by 7 microseconds each day. Simultaneously, they are farther from the Earth by approximately 20,200 kilonaments, experiencing weaker gravitational pull. So, they also gain 45 microseconds every 24 hours. In total, the cloaks on GPS satellites are actually running 38 microseconds faster each day compared to clocks on Earth. Computers must continuously compensate for this time difference to ensure that Google Maps, for example, doesn't lead us into the ground although occasionally it still happens. Time travel to the future is something that can definitely occur because it is happening. But I know you clicked on this video to see how to go back to the past to witness the youth of our ancestors. In reality, a scientist has created a machine that allows for time reversal, and it looks like this. This is called the Tipler Cylinder, or Tipler Time Machine, proposed in 1974 by the American physicist Frank J. Tipler. In essence, the Tipler cylinder is a very large, very long, and very dense cylinder, rotating around its vertical axis at an extremely high speed, approaching the speed of light. According to Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity, a rotating massive object can drag the structure of time around it. This effect is called frame dragging. In the case of the Tipler cylinder, its intense rotational motion will create the frame dragging effect. Tipler proposes that the combination of the cylinder's rotational motion and the frame dragging effect can create a region of twisted space-time, forming curves similar to closed time-like curves. These are paths through space-time, essentially forming a time loop, allowing time travel within it. Tipler is meticulous enough to create a formula for constructing this machine. First, you need to prepare some specific material, approximately the mass of 10 suns. Knead it like dough, then roll it into a long, thin, and super dense cylinder. It's akin to putting dough into a noodle maker, and it's not too difficult. 
Next, attach a motor and rotate the cylinder at a speed of a few billion revolutions per minute. Tipler predicts that a spacecraft orbiting the just constructed cylinder will travel in a time loop. This loop could take it thousands or even billions of years from the starting point. And it might be far away from several galaxies. The question arises, why is it so? In essence, the Tipler cylinder operates based on what principle to boggle Tipler's machine. First, you need to understand the light cone. We are living in a universe that, as we know, is constrained by the principles of relativity. One of these constraints is the maximum speed at which all information, matter, and energy can move in the universe equal to or less than the speed of light. This means that even though the future and your destiny are indeterminable, your speed is limited by the speed of light. So, if we precisely know your current position, we can draw a diagram representing all the positions you could be in the past and the future. Now, replace yourself with light. As time passes, light can traverse more space. Therefore, the diagram of all the paths that light can take from a specific point will gradually widen and take on a cone shape. And since nothing, including information, can move faster than the speed of light, events outside the light cone will not be able to influence and cause a causal relationship with events inside the cone. For example, after a year, the farthest distance light can travel is one light year. Therefore, the radius of the light cone is one light year which is synonymous with the maximum range that any event can affect the universe, ye, the maximum distance that light can transmit. In that same period, the past is also imagined in a similar way. Events that occurred a year ago can only influence the central event if it is within the range of one light year. For instance, if five years ago an evil extraterrestrial tribe lived ten light years away, launching a war, that war cannot reach Earth at the current time. Or to make it a bit more ordinary, if a beautiful girl is outside your light cone, your whole life will never have her. That is essentially a simple understanding of the light cone. Returning to Tipler's time machine, he believes that when a cylinder with the mass of ten suns rotates extremely fast, the frame-dragging effect will warp space-time, causing the light cone of objects near the cylinder to tilt, to the extent that part of the cone will rotate backward. Along the time axis, this forms something you can roughly understand as a time filter. If a spacecraft can accelerate fast enough and match the rotational speed of Tipler's cylinder, it can travel back in time along this closed time-like curve, appearing somewhere thousands or even billions of years from the starting point. If Tipler's cylinder theory actually works on paper, you could adjust the number of rotations around the tube to go back to any point in the past. Fixing all errors, speaking what you want to say, and doing things you hadn't had the courage to do before, such as confessing to her, is an issue. The problem is creating a Tipler cylinder for a Type 0 civilization like humans is a far-fetched idea. For the mathematical operations to work accurately, the Tipler cylinder must be infinitely long, and even without infinity? Creating an extremely long, thin, and densely packed cylinder with the mass of 10 suns is not a task for a civilization like ours. In fact, only Type 3 civilizations, the most advanced in the universe with the ability to turn galaxies and black holes into power plants, have the capability to verify Frank Tipler's formulas and time machine. However, it's not certain they have succeeded. The theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking discovered that, for the Tipler cylinder to exist, it either needs to be infinitely long or requires negative energy, something that, as of today, no AI knows how to create. Share your thoughts in the comments. As always, remember to like this video if you find it interesting, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell to catch more mind-bending content from Wisdom Nexus. For now, goodbye and see you again.